Hi, my name is Thomas and I make a lot of strange videos on the net that have no comparisons at all from Disney montages to strange interviews with myself. But hey, who needs a format, right? Anyways, I just thought I'd show you how to make a dynamic door. Uh, well, my main profession is as a production designer, which means I draw a lot of sets and uh, set builds for movies and television and stuff like that. And I want to show you some tricks and uh, show you what I do as my profession. So let me open up another SketchUp model here, so I can show you what I'm gonna sh what I'm <laughs> so I can show you what I'm gonna show you. <laughs> That's good English. No, nope, not at all. Anyways. This is like a typical studio set. It's a very simple model I made just to show this principle. And a lot of times you want to go down into your builds and just show the director how you can put up his different shots and what doors he can watch through and walk through and stuff like that. You can also do like the little steppy thing here and actually walk through it like a little video game, which is pretty cool. But a lot of times when showing a director around in a building like this, uh, one of the big like uh, challenges, not really a challenge, but one of the things that sometimes can get in the way are doors, because opening and closing these doors can become a pain in the ass. Therefore, I will show you a very simple trick uh, that you don't need much skills to do, but it's pretty much advanced SketchUp, uh, but uh, where you can do this. Click the hand and click on the door and oh, it's closed. Magical. Fantastical. So this is a very simple set, but you can see the principle. Now I can actually see the effect of closing a door. And if I open it, I can see what I can see outside and the director and the photographer can see exactly how the door will open and close. You can also use this for other clients if you're an interior designer or something like that. But for me, for my use, this is for television and film. But uh, this is a general SketchUp trick, really, to make a door like this. So I'm going to show you how it's done. So this is the effect we want to have. A door that can be opened and closed just by clicking on it. Because SketchUp has this advanced settings here called Dynamics Components. Now this won't work unless you have the Pro version. I'm sorry guys, you have to pay for it. Or crap. <laughs> Anyways, how to make a door like this. Let me show you. So I'm going to start over like this and we're going to go just go into components here. And if I push the home button, you will see that this is my door. Delete. There you go. And I'm going to purge this so that we just have our little guy left and this archway. So what I'm going to start to do is just fill the hole that we want to use for our door. And then I'm going to select the plane and press G or create instance uh, which isn't here it's uh, I'm really good with shortcuts so I usually use shortcuts but for the purpose of this I'm just gonna show you where it is uh, in the menus here so you got here make components which is also G so you're gonna press that and you're gonna get up this little menu like this and we're gonna call this dynamic door oh don't leave any spaces in there just dynamic door and uh, the rest of this you can just leave as it is. You want to take uh, check off replace selection with component, uh, comp, comp, component, component. It's really hard to say. And uh, just check the axis. The axis is on the bottom here, and the blue is pointing up. Perfect. Then we can press create, and it will create this into an instance. Now, if we double click on this, we get into this instance, and then we want to use the offset tool, which is this tool. Now we're gonna create a frame for the door. So we're gonna just click on the outside and just pull in. And then uh, I use centimeters. So if you wanna use inches, you can do that too, but five centimeters and enter. And I've created a frame for the door. And of course, this is just a flat surface right now. So it has to have some thickness. So we'll just use this push pull tool and we'll pull this out. Uh, let's say 10 centimeters is probably good for a door frame. And then we have a door frame. So then we're going to make the door blade or the door door. So we're going to select this plane and we're going to go create, uh, no, sorry, edit and make component. And this time it's really important that the axis is where you want the door to pivot. 
So you want the the blue line to go up over this door. This is the other this is the other component. It's this component that's uh, this axis here that is important, and it's correctly placed here. So we're gonna just gonna call this simply door, and replace selection with the components and create. So now we got a component in a component, if you know what that means. So if you would want to see how that works in Hero Key, you can go up to Window and you can see the outliner. And the, here you can see that you got uh, we got our model, we got our dynamic door, and we got our door. So we're inside. So what we do now is, if we're inside a door, we're going to double click again, and then we get inside a door. So we're going to give this door some thickness. We're going to use the push pull again, and we're going to pull this out five centimeters. And then we're just going to hit escape on a keyboard or click outside two times till you're all the way out so you can see here that you 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 this nothing is marked here in the outliner you don't need this so just close that again okay i'm just going to close the components too and uh, now we're ready to code this i've got some extra geometry here that i'm just going to delete for the sake of not distracting and uh, then we're going to go mark this and you see this little guy? If you don't have it here, you can go to Tools, I mean View, Toolbars, and make sure that Dynamic Components is checked on. If you don't have a professional version, you probably won't have this available. It would probably just have maybe the hand and maybe the options, but this icon won't be available for you, which is the attributes, which is the one we're going to use now. So you go into the attributes, and uh, here you see our two components. You see the, the main component, the dynamic door, and you see the door component inside the dynamic door because it's a little bit indented. And so we're going to uh, press the plus sign there, and we're going to add an attribute. And we want the door to rotate along its C axis, or Z if you're from England, whatever you want. And we want that attribute to be controlled by another instance that we're going to call door opening. Press enter to, to finish that. And just for the, for the testing now, I'm going to put 45 and press enter so that that actually has a value. Now the rotation C, that is going to be decided. And we're going to put equals. I want the negative value, so I'm going to put a minus of door opening. And I'm going to press enter. And there the door goes open. Pretty cool, huh? Well. Now you see the reason I put minus there, I could just put, put door opening and maybe it will actually go some other way because your axis is different than mine. Uh, so if you just do door opening, you see it's opening, but it's opening the wrong way. So the reason I put a minus there is just to make it open the right way. Okay, so now the door is open and it's controlled by this door opening, but uh, I can I, still nothing will happen if I click on it. That's because we don't have an on click attribute yet. So we go, we're going to go up to top and we're going to select dynamic door. Oh, I only have five minutes left before my recording stops. Uh, let's go this. Uh, we're going to go to dynamic door and we're going to press on click. And on click, we're going to put in a function. So we're going to put function up here and click the drop down menu and go all the way down here. And you're going to see unclick functions and there's going to be an animate attribute. You're going to make sure that the, the cursor is inside the unclick and you're going to click insert and double click on attributes and then click on door opening down here. Look what happens. It actually replaces the instance with the door and apostrophe and door opening. So that's gonna animate that state. So you got the different states behind here. We're just gonna take those away for now because they're not right. And we're just gonna have comma, zero, comma, 45, comma, 90. And that's gonna make it roll around from zero to 45 degrees to 90 degrees. You can put in more here if you want, but that's, how we want it to go. So we're gonna just gonna press enter. And now you made a dynamic door. Click on it to see if it works. And uh, there you have it. So you can go in here and you can edit this further. If you wanna go in here and maybe like have a little window in the door or something like that, you can do that too. Just push pull and uh, go out again and test it one more time just to see if it works. Yep, it still works. And uh, that's how you make a dynamic door. I hope this is useful for you, and uh, this has already gone on for like 10 minutes, so I'm going to shut up now, and I hope you can use this for whatever you wanted to. Uh, once again, uh, this is Thomas, or Mr. T, on the internet, 
Uh, I'm a production designer, and this is a little tutorial 